Hey everybody, Chip here. I was uh, cleaning out my buckets and bins full of electronic components here and I came across a coffee can full of resistors that I had since God knows when and I figured uh, I ought to make a YouTube video on how to identify all these damn resistors so we can get them sorted out. Now, all the resistors have a color code. They're usually three usually three or four color bands. Okay, your first two bands are numbers, zero through nine. The third band is a multiplier. The fourth band, if there is one, is a tolerance value, how many percent of within tolerance that resistor will be. Now, why in the world wouldn't they just write how many ohms is on the side of the resistor? It would make life so much easier. But some resistors are pretty small and it just wouldn't be practical. So they came up with a color system. Now, I don't want any comments about how this is racist or blah, 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 blah. I'm a ham radio operator. I have been for several years. And it was an old 80-some-year-old guy that taught me this. And in his generation, this was perfectly acceptable. But it is still very relevant today and it will help you remember. Okay, it's a little mnemonic. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna write it out. It is black boys rape. Are young girls, but Violet gives, and I'm running out of paper room here, so. Willing, okay. I know you can't see it, the whole thing just won't fit on the screen, but uh, black boys rape our young girls, but Violet gives willingly. And translated, what that means is black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, you may know it as purple, gray, and white. I try to get it all in there. I think I'm zoomed out all the way. Ah, no, there we go. I can get it in there. Okay, so it's black boys rape our young girls, but Violet gives willingly. And it's black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, and white. Okay, now black, it's like I said, it's zero through nine. So you've got, I don't know if I hold the Sharpie right side down. Black is worth zero. Brown is one. Red is two. Orange is three. Yellow is four. Green is five. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, blue is six. Violet is seven. Gray is eight. And white is nine. Now there's three more words you might want to know. Okay, black boys rape our young girls, but Violet gives, probably, I can't even talk, but Violet gives willingly. There's also three more words. Get, some, now. Okay, and that stands for gold, silver, and none. Okay. 
Now, I've actually got to remember this one because it's been a while since I've looked at the tolerance bands. Okay, gold is 5%, silver is 10%, and none, you won't find any of the charts, they either they didn't measure the tolerance, but usually it's within 25%. Okay, so now for instance, if you see a, unfortunately I don't have multicolored pencils here, that would be nice. But if you were to see a, um, oh, let's say brown, black, and how about orange? Okay, and it has a oh silver band on it. Now hopefully you can read this. I'm not going to be able to find out until I actually process the video. But uh, we've determined that brown is one, black is zero. Now the third color band here is a multiplier. Okay, they tell you to times it by this, that, or the other. The easiest way to do it is how many zeros to add. So orange is worth three, so you're going to tack three zeros on it. Okay, and then silver, we just said, is worth 10 is 10 percent of tolerance. So what you've got here is a 10,000 ohm, or more accurately, 10 kilo ohm resistor that is in tolerance up to 10%. It is going to measure within 10% of 10K plus or minus. But uh, in a nutshell, that's it. It's that easy. Um, I used to beat my head against the desk when I was first getting into electronics trying to figure it out. You know, how in the world do you memorize the colors in order? And it's that mnemonic. Now, if you go on the internet, you'll find other mnemonics. Like I said, I'm sorry if this sounds a little racist, but it was taught to me by an old guy, and it's, I remember it, I've never forgot it, and that's all that matters is because now I can look at a resistor, and in my head, I can tell you how much the resistor's worth. But uh, that's it, ladies and gents. It's that easy. It's uh, black boys rape our young girls, but violet gives willingly. Black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, and white. And in that order, it's zero through nine. And generally, you will have, most resistors you see nowadays have four bands. The first two are value, are numbers. The third is the multiplier, how many zeros you add to it. So if you had a green band, it would have five zeros after it. If you had a red band, it would have two zeros after it. And uh, to get some now, or gold, silver, or no band at all, if it just has three bands, it doesn't have a tolerance. But gold and silver is, gold is 5%, silver is 10%. And uh, that fourth band, gold, silver, none, can also be one of the colors up at the top. Like if, for instance, it has a black band at the end, it will be... A one within one percent. Uh, you don't see them very often. Uh, you can order them, but uh, they're usually used in stuff like medical equipment and aeronautics and stuff like that, where it's critical. But uh, that's about it. And another thing worth mentioning. I had bled through my paper. Let me get another piece of paper here. Is that kind of bled through? But what the hey, I can still use it. Now, I'm not an artist, but generally you are going to have a resistor. Now when they orient these bands, they orient them closer to one end than the other. So you're going to start at the end of the resistor 
where the color band is closest to the edge. So you'll have like one, two, three, and then there'll be a band out a little bit and you'll have a gap before the end of the resistor. You start reading the line that's closest to the edge of the resistor. So, you know, for instance, that same one we were just looking at, you know, your brown would be this first line, black would be the second line, orange would be this third line. And then out here, spaced away from it a little bit, you'd have that silver 10% uh, band would be right there. But uh, that's the easiest way to remember it. Uh, there's a lot of things in mnemonics that, or there's a lot of things in electronics that you have to remember with mnemonics. It just makes it easier if you can put words to it rather than try to remember, you know, 12 different, uh, nine, 10, yeah, 12 different colors. But uh, hopefully that helps somebody. And if it did, I'm happy. That's what I'm here for. I like messing around with electronics. I like doing these videos, especially doing stuff like this, because it keeps my brain fresh too. So by explaining it, it's fresh in my memory again. But uh, any questions, feel free to drop a comment. There's an email on my YouTube site too. But that's how you do it. Everybody have a good one.